Hello, Blake Brennan here from Trinity Whip Company, and we're doing another two-handed whip routine, and we're going to work on doing fast figure eights with both hands. Like any other two-handed whip routine, if you watched the earlier videos, I talk about everything needs to be done in what you call same time, stagger time, and balance time, and we're going to do this the fast figure eight, but it's also good to have prerequisites. If you watch the other series I made called Fundamental Whip Crack, uh, it goes over the fundamental whip cracks individually, but we're just going to show them one time to understand the prerequisites. Prerequisites for a fast figure eight should be a cattleman's crack, should be a reverse cattleman's, and then you put those together for a slow figure eight, and then that helps you get ready for the fast figure eight. Now, <clears throat> for sure, you should be able to do those on both hands before you try doing them together, but we'll put them together for same time fast figure eights, which look like this. From the side. And I'll slow them up a little bit for the next one. Now we're going to do what's called staggered. Now staggered, instead of going at the same time, it's more of a one end. All right, so instead of one, two, one, two, it's one end, one end. All right, let's go ahead and put those together. My left hand will be going first, so you'll hear that one crack first. Ready? Staggered. From the side. And now we're going to work on balance time. So this one goes up, and while this one's going, coming down, like right here, this one's coming up to catch up with it. This is balance time. From the side, balance time, fast figure eights. And then with the balance figure eights, it's actually a routine called the rally. And so what we're going to do now is, as I talked before, it's good to be able to do these rhythms from, you know, same time staggered, balanced, and try to fluctuate in and out while you're moving. So you go more in depth with these basic fundamentals as opposed to worrying about adding too many routines right now. Just having the control to variate the same routine can be very beneficial. And so we're going to try that. But the problem with this is once I go to the full rally, you can't really go back to staggered. They're just too far apart from each other. So I'm going to add a little twirl with my left hand to catch up with my right once I go to balance time and then try to work my way back to the stagger. It should look a little bit like this. Same time. Staggered. Now we're in the rally. So once I came off the rally and I decided to switch back, I decided one extra twirl and a full circle with my left hand. There are other ways to catch up to it. I just think that might be the easiest for you. So once again, we're gonna go same time, fast figure eights. And now I make my left hand just go a little bit faster on the uptake. Now I gotta slow down my right for the rally. Now I have a swing right there to go back to staggered. And then I just catch up my right, or you can slow down your left a little for same time. All right, now having these together, like I said, there's just good ways to get used to fluctuating your figure eight. You could come back to same time and then have your right hand read the staggered and that'd be a, another wonderful exercise. So I hope you have fun with these. I hope these help you get ready to doing both side volleys, which are a number of routines. Thank you for watching. God bless. My name is Blake Bruning. Have a wonderful day.